Hey everybody, we've been going for a while and right now I, I had a lineup, I had a setup out here. I have a generator from Eric and I have a power station from Batoman. And one of the things that really gets me is we're going to get into that. We're going to be doing a video pretty soon on that one. Um, it's taking me a while because I have issues with it. Now, um, I haven't done a video in quite a while. And the reason is sitting right here in this little bottle. So it's called nitro, nitroglycerin. Um, some things will set you back. And that one set me back, didn't it, dear? It did. It did. So um, I've been answering a lot of the posts, trying my best. Now, Kira is my go-to girl for a lot of that. Um, but things are getting better. Yeah. I'm improving. Um, we have uh, been working 80 plus hours a week. YouTube used to pay us a little enough to where we could work part time, and it's pretty much chopped the pieces out of anybody that ain't, you know, artificial intelligence driven. They don't care about humans anymore. No. So I still want to make sure people can do things easy and right when it comes to off grid, small items, do it yourselves. And, and this stuff here on the table, we're going to be talking about this stuff and we're going to get a video out on this next. Yeah. So she has set this up. It's been here for three weeks since I had, um, my short vacation. So yep. this is Timu items, guys. Y'all ain't going to believe this. So all of this right here. This is all Timu. Is from Timu. Timu. We're going to get into this. But this is the one that we really want to do because me and my boy, we went out and put in um, a water well on a rural area and a water pump. And these are DC. Now you can get them in 24 volt, 48 volt. Uh, the 48 will run on 36, just fine. This is a 12 volt, 220 watt. Here, let me get down here on that. And you see it says outlet 25 millimeter on it. Okay, now yeah. here's the whole big deal on it right now. Exactly. Well, the, uh, the big deal on it, I guess, is what he's trying to say. So we get this pump all the time and we usually get it off Amazon, but we found this site called Timu, and I buy some of my clothes from it. It's not that bad. And the thing we found about getting some of these things off of Timu is it's quite literally the same thing, except it's about 20 to 30% cheaper. So I think they like get old warehouse stuff and sell it, resell it. But the thing about it is, is that what he's trying to explain is the guy that wanted to do, wanted to have this pump is, um, he wanted this part right here. And this particular part is a part that no matter where you get this from will always cause a problem. This is one inch and this is about three quarters. You're supposed to uh, do one inch poly right about here. And it has this little O-ring and it leaks and the one inch poly just, you know what? It's, it's not good. It's crap. We always throw these, these out. Um, we have this really big drawer that's absolutely full of these. We do not know what to do with them. <laughs> all right guys exactly so all right so you do not know what to do with these he's going to explain to you how to actually make it work to where you do not have to replace this or it doesn't cause problems in life yeah and you and don't need that you don't i need that. also wanted to go by and tell you that we got all of these items from timu we got this little 7018 stick stick welding thing Rods, welding yeah. rods. And this is and a cool little welder here. It's this is a, a inverter welder. We, now we don't 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 uh, judge us yet. We don't know, um, but somebody Christmas gifted her, um, and it's been sitting on there for months. Um, and a um, I don't know three hundred dollars on Timu. Yeah, and a, a family member. It doesn't seem that bad. So she decided, let's try out items. And we got this from Amazon. That are common. Yeah, no, we no, got, we're going to get to this real quick. Yeah, we got this. Look, from, look below the video. She'll put links to all this stuff in here. So you can go look. Yeah, I'll put and links see to all of it. what it is. Okay. We now, got, the, this this, and this are part of a water system. But these things she wanted to verify. I wanted to show it. So this is from Timu. And then this one is from Amazon. This was like $50. And this was like... 30, 20, 20, $22.50. $22 right here. Look at that. Same thing. Same thing. Same size. Same. Pop, pop the back off. Same. Same thing. Everything. Hardware. Same thing. Same thing. Same. 
identical brand and manufacturer. And I'm just like, I'm really excited okay. about this because it's like. We're going to save a ton of money. Yeah. We use these and I'm going to show you that here. Look, and you know what? I'm going to put a clip up. Mm -hmm. The water heater. Yeah. I'm going to show you how this can take your excess solar power. This is why you're going to go down and click on that link to these things and heat your water. Uh-huh. Using these. You can't use a standard one. You need one that's programmable. But I'm going to show you. All right. It's the picture, right? Mm -hmm. Now. All right. Now, Nitro John. <laughs> Instead of Johnny Two Chins, it's Instead Nitro. of Johnny Two Chins, we're Johnny Two Tabs. So, what they send... Uh, with these is a unbearable. Now I want to hold this down so y'all can get a close look. There's no taper. Okay. And there's no taper. However, there's a taper, right? What the hell? Right. But, but Johnny two tabs, why? Okay. Let me give you the game. All right. People use these, they leak, the pump runs and runs and runs and runs. It doesn't build up enough pressure for the flow switch. So what will happen is you'll burn your pump up. Now, these are $111 on Amazon, and I think they're like $53, but they're the same pump. They come with the same completely ir uh, unreadable. unreadable set of plans or directions. I mean, you can. It's like... You put it under a microscope. I uh, can't magnify that. Yeah. All right. But when it's in 74 languages, including the African clicks <laughs> right back there. So it's got it all, but you need a magnifier. Now, what I do is every one of these pumps has an internal check valve. But the problem is the load of water over 20 feet is more than that little check valve is going to handle over time because it flaps open, closes, open, closes. And it's just a rubber disc with a brass center in it. Okay, so you take a look down in there. I don't know if you can see it. See it down there? All right, so they fail. And then when they do, your pump will cycle, 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 and they die. So when you see a bad review on these pumps, it's no different than, you know, a standard cheap pump. The, the problem is sitting right here. The problem is sitting right here. Here's the solution to it. So I'm going to hand this to her because... Nitro John is not going to do well filming. All right. One of the things you're going to look for is you're going to get you a one inch male adapter. One inch. One inch socket. One inch male on that side. So one inch socket, one inch male. And then you're going to get you a three quarter. Now, these are Lasco, but Nibco and other companies, Charlotte Pipe, they all make about the same. I want you to look here. You see that? I can glue those two together. And I'm sure there's people out there going like, hell yeah, John, I did that last week. And you probably did. Now, what you're pumped with it, I don't know. We, we won't talk about that. That's private items. <laughs> However, this glues into here. Now, you're like, but John, I want, I want to just pump one inch of water. I want to pump one inch of water. Okay. Well, here's the problem with that. Should have never been built like that. These pumps, DC pumps, one inch of water is as dumb as a box of rocks. That's how you make them go bad. That little motor will go bad. The seals in the motor is great. They never leak. I've never had a problem with that. But I've had a problem with motor failure due to overcycling. Now, you're going to take this and you're going to glue that in right there. And then I'll, you're going to use some Teflon, that fancy stuff. And then you're going to thread it in. Now watch. I feel it getting tighter. Tighter, tighter. It's usually about Tighter. the time we uh, break out the pump pliers a little bit. Yeah. And you're going to get it down to where you got about a thread and a half showing. With this glued into the top, whoops, <laughs> that glued into the top. Okay. Then you'll put your schedule 60. We can't use the terminology for this because we embarrass females. Short piece of pipe. Now, that threads into the top. And then you put your check valve on here you get you a three quarter inch spring loaded check valve nibco 
Sue Chief, doesn't matter. Get a good quality. And you'll put this on here. And then you can put a, stay there. Male adapter, three quarter inch, and the other end of that check valve and proceed to the top with three quarter inch pipe. And you're like, well, what, what the hell? Uh, Johnny Sparky there. Um, I think Nitro John sounds nitro, good. Nitro? Yeah. yeah. Too freaking slow for Nitro anymore. So, shouldn't I get that one inch of flow? I'm paying for one inch pipe. No, guys. Don't do it. Don't do it. You need that resistance or this pump makes a lot of gurgling noise and a lot of motor struggle. You want it to last a long time or you want to dig it out of the well or whatever, don't do it. This is just a two and a half inch roughly pump. It'll drop down any three inch casing all the way up to whatever. You want to make sure this, you drop it down to the bottom. That depends on your area. If you're in the north, um, you can play around with it. But if you're anywhere in the middle of the country or the south, you want to drop it to the bottom of the water and then you want to raise it up about five feet. Okay, now, if you don't have that much water in your system, you need to put on a timer and the timer will run it on for five or 10 minutes off for 30. Make sure your off is always 30 and never exceed 15 on. And these are made not to pressurize into your house. They're made to fill a tank or a swimming pool, but use a IBC tank or whatever if you want to. They're made to fill a tank and you'll put a float switch on it. Now, one of the cool things that I really like about these pumps I get from Timu is not only are they identical, same brand, same manufacturer, same everything. For some reason, they're all made with a Canadian cable. Not the USA brown cable. Look at the, the Canadian cable. No, that's not Swiss. So mm -hmm. they're all made with a Canadian cable. And people are like, what the hell's the difference? Well, a Canadian code. This cable is full gel filled. This cable is like 30 feet long and the American cable is only 20 foot. So you got 10 more feet of cable. Is that important? Well, yeah, if you got a large column of water, it's better. So save 30, $50, get the longer, heavier, nicer cables with it and just scrap the number one problem. No matter, no matter who sells you that pump, scrap it, throw it away. I know this fits on one inch poly, but that is not a tapered fitting. It will not hold a taper. It's mechanical style, okay? Even though it's pipe thread, okay? Iron pipe, same with that one. And that gasket will ruin your pump. So in the trash, $4, fix your problem. Make your pump last you five years instead of five months, okay? All right, guys, in the check valve, I didn't have one. We just literally, I'll check the truck and I didn't have one. It's sitting 45 feet in the ground at a property about 40 miles from here. So I couldn't help you with that, but she'll put a link down here to all these things. We are going to open this up. We're going to take the screws out. We're going to find out what's going on with this thing. How they call this, what it is, because it probably only weighs about four pounds. Will it really do the welding? These are what, three thirty second, Kara. Yeah. Okay, she ordered, yeah, I believe so. she ordered 7018 because it'll do rusty stuff. Kira knows her welding, guys. And look what I did. She says, can I use that helmet? And I went, snap. Nope, look, the lens is broke. <laughs> In other words, it comes with this this little, it's cheap stuff. But even Harbor Freight gives you crap like that. So, all right. We're going to do a video on this soon. This is Kira's little, little uh, stick muncher thing that she's going to set up to a video on. Um, I had to get a little work done on this battery because it's Bluetooth would not talk to me. So I got that fixed, a new module in it. So it's got that fixed and now we'll be doing a video on that. But, um, you guys, you guys hang around. Um, there's, there's one thing that right there, when they give you that, one of the things they tell you is to slow down. And then when you got somebody like this around you, mm, she won't let me go fast anymore. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Shut down, Dad. No. Stop, Dad. Don't do it, Dad. <laughs> so we're Go gonna back. get we're gonna get this going. We're gonna we got a little table set up outside. This is a beautiful generator. It's really light, really light. 
2400 2000 watt 2400 um that thing's only about 100 bucks you know look for the next videos i'll put a link to them in the next videos but y'all go check out timu y'all go check out what they got 47 dollars for this at, at at amazon 19 19 at timu same thing see look it's got the chinese thing it's the same thing but it's, it's all chinese yeah okay don't 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 no don't say it just because yours is written in english still come from china so the tag is chinese but it's the same thing it's identical so this keeps the crap out of your shower heads and faucets and this is um what is that uh, 80 that's 80 um mesh that's in those but you can get them with 140 mesh yeah and i'm sure you can find so. one written in english on timu too okay maybe it means that much to you. <laughs> if it means that much to you pay the extra three dollars for a label but you guys stay tuned um we're going to finish up some things but i just want to make sure that you guys knew how to handle that exactly and that pump it is a good pump it's a good one all right y'all yep. be good y'all be good